update today on the Tonga underwater volcano eruption that happened on the 15th. We had a tremendous uh, uh, gravity shock wave, and the shock wave has now meant its antipode. It's reached its antipode. What is the antipode? Well, in geography, the antipode of any spot on Earth is a point on Earth where diametrically opposite to it, a pair of antipodes to each other are situated such that a straight line connecting the two would pass through the Earth's center, antipodal points as far away from each other as possible. So in the Northern Hemisphere, antipodes are, for, for example, Australia uh, to Australia and New Zealand, and uh, things like that. Uh, antipodes of Britain and Ireland are the Pacific Ocean south of New Zealand. So uh, it's met its antipode and this is the image of it, shockwaves antipode in southern Algeria. We also have an image of it from, taken from the ISS. You can see a large section of the Earth's atmosphere is covered in ash and uh, this eruption is still ongoing. Satellite Meteostat, operated by EU METSAT, detected the shock wave reaching its antipode. The eruption triggered the air pressure wave passing through the globe and after several hours reaching its diametrically opposite point on the Earth, located in southern Algeria. The antipode is a point on Earth's surface that refers to opposite latitude and longitude differing by 180 degrees. The shock wave reaches its antipode in southern Algeria, and we'll see that in a, just a few seconds. We have the impressive image by, of the uh, ash gray clouds traveling in the atmosphere, captured from the International Space Station. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Of course, nobody expected this eruption and it's underwater, so it's very difficult for geologists and volcanologists to find out what's going on. Okay, these are the satellite images of shockwaves reaching Antipode, southern Algeria. And we can watch this. There we go. Amazing. And yet one more right here. Uh, basically, this has been felt all over the Earth, and we know that the ash clouds are over 30 kilometers height. They're reaching into the ionosphere. And uh, let's have the latest here. We can get the latest update. Okay. No, that's not it. That's older. Let's get the nearby earthquakes. I didn't see those today. Refresh this. Okay, there we go. And this is it right here. Depths, magnitude of quakes versus time plots. You can see right here. Just about the 10 kilometer depth. Okay, this one is deeper at 30. And we had a 4.6 two days ago.
The current status is five, major eruption, five out of five. The submarine volcano is 489 feet. Tonga Islands. The small island of Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hapai cap a large seamount located about 30 kilometers south southeast of Falcon Island, approximately 65 kilometers northwest of Vuna Wharf, Nuku Alofa. The two linear Andesitic islands are about two kilometers long, and they represent, they represent the western and northern remnants of a rim of a largely submarine caldera lying east and south of the islands. Honga Tonga and Honga Hapai reach an elevation of only 149 meters and 128 meters above sea level, so they're very low lying, and dis display inward facing sea cliffs with lava and tephra layers dipping gently away from the submarine caldera. A rocky shoal of 3.2 kilometers southeast of Honga Hapai and three kilometers south of Honga Tonga mark the most prominent historical active vent Several submarine eruptions have occurred in Hunga Tonga, Hunga Hapai since the first historical eruption in 1912. This is all according to volcano discovery. So the condition of this, the update of this volcano, is still ongoing. The geologists have told us that they don't know when it's going to stop. It could be weeks, it could be months. And the last huge eruption that they had in this area from this submarine volcano was in 1100 AD. Before that, it was about 200 AD. And they estimate that every thousand years, there's a big one eruption. This, is this it? It could be. Uh, and if that is so, we don't know what's going to happen to the southern hemisphere from the uh, eruption of ash, volcanic ash, the status of a few days ago was that it uh, had would drop the temperature of the southern hemisphere about half a degree Celsius. Well, since then, we've had a lot of ash coming into the atmosphere and high up into the ionosphere. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.